Hi Virgo, I hope you're all doing well. In today's reading, we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. No contact. I'm getting this person wants communication. Um, they're looking back at you. I'm getting a strong possibility this person yeah, makes a return. We have Six of Cups, Justice, and Judgment at the bottom of the deck. There is energy of reconciliation here. Someone wanting to make things right. But they're curious when it comes to you. There's definite attraction here. It's almost someone looking back and wondering what could be. So I'm not sure if this is a newer connection or someone with whom things did not go further than a friendship. But there's curiosity. Why is Page of Wands here for the person on Virgo's mind? Clarify the Page of Wands. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Swords, yeah. That's that curiosity, wondering what you're doing. Why is Page of Wands here? I want one more on this energy. This may be a situation that either you abandoned Virgo or they did. Someone dropped the situation or wasn't giving to this. If it was this person, they've been missing you, which is why they're wondering what you're up to. They're wanting to communicate, perhaps heal things. We have three of swords in reverse. Three of swords upright is when we're distant. There's separation, there's heartache. They're coming out of that energy. Why is three of swords here in reverse? This person does have love for you. We have two of cups in their feelings. I think you're the only sign to receive that in feelings. Hmm. Why is three of swords in reverse here? The issue with this person is Virgo. They act like they don't care. They act like they, they're not bothered. They're preoccupied. They have a lot of responsibilities. Yet they secretly miss you. That is what I'm getting. There's attraction here. I'm not sure it's being expressed with the Emperor. Let's get one more on the Three of Swords in reverse. Yeah, they, this person doesn't... I'm not sure they're going out of their way to approach you. There's attraction here, but they're not wanting to argue or fight with you. And that is their stance here, but they are standing their ground. They're not playing games with you, Virgo, I can assure you that. Your stance, we have King of Pentacles, Two of Wands in reverse. Um, your stance is that you're focused on your coins. Um, you have some project you've been working on. You may feel that the situation won't go anywhere. With the Two of Wands in reverse, it's, it's when we're, we've made a decision, right? And we're not planning or investing energy into something. Clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse for Virgo's energy. Yeah, you're you're backing down. Seven of Wands in reverse. You're not exerting effort. You're not fighting for this. Why is Two of Wands in reverse here? Perhaps at one point you were confused about the situation, you're no longer, you're not seeing the situation as, you're not seeing potential or possibilities. There's lack of commitment or someone's resistant to change. The Emperor upright can be my way or the highway, right? Yeah, you feel this is over. You're not waiting around for this person to change or chase you. How they're viewing you, Seven of Pentacles, Upright Fool in Reverse. They could be seeing you as someone who did in the past invest a lot of time and energy into this, but Seven of Pentacles, Upright is when we're assessing a situation, right? We're looking back wondering if it's worth the effort or not. So they may see you sort of patiently waiting or taking a step back from this situation 
And for others of you, because you're coming through as the King of Pentacles in reverse, it can be. They're seeing you working hard on something. Some sort of financial you know, work situation is coming through. Why is Seven of Pentacles here for how this person's viewing Virgo? Some of them feel you're patiently waiting for them to approach you. This person feels you're wanting to take action towards them, but you're restraining yourself from moving forward. You're putting a break on the passion here with the fool in reverse, right? Because you don't trust the situation. But they're seeing you as someone who's not, yeah, you're not planning anything. Um, you've turned your back um, towards the situation. And their feelings, we have two of cups upright and ace of wands in reverse. And this is someone who definitely has love for you, right? It's almost that soulmate. There's emotions here but with the ace of wands in reverse they're not taking initiative clarify the two of cups for how this person's feeling about virgo we don't need clarity on that but chariot yeah that's cancer energy it's water signs right so this person does reminisce if there's separation they do think about you the memories and they are wanting, they have emotion for you, but it's almost that hard exterior paired with the Emperor. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse here? I'm surprised strength didn't come through because I'm getting someone who has love for you. There's passion, but they're restraining themselves. Why is Ace of Wands here? Queen of Wands. <laughs> they're wanting reconciliation they're wanting definite reconciliation yeah ten of pentacles they may feel it's bad timing things won't work in their favor but they find you physically very attractive they do aries energy coming through i'm still getting that they may be waiting on you um to approach them Action they're taking towards you we have seven of cups in reverse king of swords upright so the, as i said earlier they're not playing games with you they're no longer confused right seven of cups in reverse is i've made my decision and with the king of swords he's pointing down right it's almost my, what mm, very stubborn energy my way or the highway very fixed in what they've decided here i'm not sure they're taking action towards you because the King of Swords in this deck, his sword is pointing down. But this is someone who's very difficult to work with or compromise with, I'm getting. And they have this exterior. It's very cold, aloof, um, the way they approach you. But beneath that, we have the Two of Cups, the Page of Wands. Why is Seven of Cups in reverse here for what action this person's taking towards Virgo? Some of you, it's because you're not giving to this situation. You've pulled your energy back because they we had King of Pentacles in reverse in your energy, right? And we have the King of Pentacles again. Four of Cups, yeah. They're choosing to ignore this. You are choosing to ignore this. They have no choice. So they're standing their ground here. Why is King of Swords here for what action this person's taking? Some of you, this person may be committed. And that is where they're focusing their attention. They, it's not lack of love, though, as I said, Two of Cups. King of Swords is clarified by the King of Swords. This person is not being vulnerable with you. They're holding back. What are they holding back? Queen of Cups, their emotions. They're not going to give in. Um, they're not expressing, they're not being vulnerable. They're trying to detach uh, from their emotions and it's almost head over heart for them. This person is moving towards where their stability lies. So if they're committed, um, they can be, they're looking at it from a logical stance, right? Um, there may be assets involved here, money, property, because they're very focused with Ten of Pentacles, either their career or their money. They're saying I'm, I'm busy. 
they're saving, they're investing. That is where their energy is. It's, there's a little bit of mirroring here. And you're ignoring them as well. So it's almost at a standstill. Right? For how you're feeling, Page of Swords in Reverse, Magician in Reverse. There's no contact, no communication here. Because these both rule air, right? Magician is Mercury. Um, Gemini Virgo. But it's in reverse. Your feelings are you either feel you don't have control over the situation or you're intentionally not wanting to put in work. But you may be watching this person or curious about them. Why is Page of Swords and Words in reverse here for how Virgo's feeling? We have Page of Swords in reverse, Page of Swords upright. There is a little bit of fixation. Devil is obsession, Page of Swords in reverse is one we're very curious about something. So you may have a hard time releasing this person. Um, you think about them quite a bit. Yeah, you may be quite, there's, this can be control, jealousy, possessiveness. So yeah, you may, but you're trying to work on healing this with the temperance. Why is Magician in reverse here? Why is, we have three major arcana clarifying the Page of Swords. Why is Magician in reverse here? But you're not putting in the effort, you're saying no second chances. Or this person is turning down a second chance. We're still getting it's your energy. We had King of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Wands in reverse. You feel it's almost star-crossed lovers, but bad timing. What is the obstacle? Hierophant in reverse and Six of Wands upright. Can be there's other people involved. Someone is getting attention from many people. And there's conflict. There's interference. Others of you, it can be ego with the Emperor and Six of Wands. But Hierophant in reverse is someone who's unwilling to change, compromise. But there's also no commitment here. Why is Hierophant in reverse here as the obstacle? Why is, Har Why is Hierophant in reverse here as the obstacle? Now we have Six of Wands in reverse, yeah. Some of you, there's, there's secret affair. Can be someone who is not recognizing you, um, acknowledging you. Someone felt they weren't appreciated in this connection. Yeah, someone was very in and out not consistent here is another obstacle perhaps when you withdrew your energy um, they'd come back around to get your attention and i'm getting that here there's that urge they have which they're trying to control with the emperor there's a strong urge to reach out or communicate flirt with you something but with the king of swords emperor they're not budging your outcome looks beautiful we have queen of wands and two of swords upright for one, you're feeling very confident. We have Queen of Wands twice um, coming through upright. Aries energy paired with the Fool. Being in your power, you may be getting attention from others. It's really up to you what you want to create. Your intuition is on point. We have the cats here and we have her blindfolded, right? With the swords or their darts and she's hit the bullseye. Let's see, why is Queen of Wands here as Virgo's outcome? There may be something you've been planning, manifesting, and it is f coming through here for you with the Two of Swords. Why is Queen of Wands here as Virgo's outcome? Yeah, maybe something, to, you may be an entrepreneur, something in regards to your business. Money's looking good here. Yeah, as I say that, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups. Could be getting some sort of recognition praise when it comes to what you do. I was getting sick King of Pentacles in reverse. You were focused on yourself. Knight of Pentacles, yeah. You're all about manifesting here. And there may be distant, there's separation. And you're doing well. You're diverting your attention to you and your money finances. 
or school, some of you may be going to school. Why is Two of Swords here for Virgo's outcome? Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, you're choosing to ignore this situation. You're listening to your intuition and you're not communicating. Yeah, no communication. This is no entry. I'm moving on. Look at that. Eight of Wands in reverse. Regardless of what you feel, it's this is no contact. You don't trust this person and you're not communicating. You're protecting yourself. Their outcome, we have Ten of Swords and Five of Swords in reverse. We're trying to heal from this, we have Three of Swords in reverse in their overall energy. This does seem to be a breakup. And two people that are being stubborn <laughs> and really standing their ground. So there is no compromise here. I think you're very aware of what is going on with this person and situation. You don't really need this reading if it's resonating. You're doing well though in your outcome. Why is Ten of Swords in reverse here for the person on Virgo's mind? Yeah, they're mirroring you. They're not offering you emotion, although it's there with the Two of Cups and they're trying to move forward here. Some of you, there may be literal distance. Why is Five of Swords in reverse here though? But this person doesn't want to fight or argue with you. I'm getting that strong in their energy. Perhaps there was a lot of argument. Why is Five of Swords in reverse here? Five of Swords in reverse is clarified by Five of Swords. I want one more and then we'll talk about this. Yeah, they're making a decision. They may be avoiding you releasing this, but it's almost Queen of Cups upright. This person has a lot of love for you. It's unconditional, regardless of how they're behaving, because they're acting very rigid and closed off, but there's a lot of emotion they're hiding here. I'm not sure why they're hiding their emotion, but they are. I worry about our differences. You and me come from different worlds, but my heart says go for it and take the risk. Yeah, is that why they hold back? Some of you, yeah, distance. Distance between us has made me realize just how important you are to me. I made the wrong choices. So there may be some regret, necessarily seeing, you know, regret here, but this is someone who is not wanting to argue with you. They did miss you. We have a lot of fives in their energy as well. But again, with hanging man in reverse, this is someone who's unwilling to compromise, right? They're not taking the time to see things from your perspective. Some of you, there was other people we have, I chose the other person because they didn't challenge me like you do. Every day I wonder if I made the wrong choice. Yeah, someone caused a rift between us and I'm not sure if we'll be able to recover from this. Others are vying for my attention, but I only have eyes for you. This heart belongs to you. I'm afraid you're not going to understand me. So yeah, there's conflict, not seeing eye to eye. You both are extremely um, popular and attractive. You're coming through as the king and queen of wands. Some of you, this person is in another commitment. I was getting that with the King of Swords and Ten of Pentacles. But they love you, Two of Cups, Queen of Cups. It's not being expressed because they may be, can be ego, it can be other people, which is why they're not expressing their love. Let's get one more. Okay, I was wondering why they're not. We have, I'm afraid of expressing my feelings and have you reject me. My ego won't be able to handle it. Well, I was saying someone has a strong ego. So if this person picked, you know, chose someone else over you in the past, you're closed off. 
you're healing, you're releasing, you're getting attention from others, perhaps with king and queen of wands, and this person's afraid to back and be rejected here, right? Their big ego won't be able to handle it. I've called you so many times, but hung up before it rang. I get so nervous. Hmm. So the emperor has insecurities here, Virgo. So they put on this mask, this show. They're not affected, they're not bothered. Some of you, new love will find you if you are looking for new love. Yeah, let them make the first move. Divine mission together. Mirroring you. Yeah, it's a battle of will, ego. Obstacles ahead. We have a lot of fives. We have 50 and five. Five by five, five challenges here. They will call. And the gates of love are open. And we have eternal bond. But we have, if this, this person's been secretive, we have change of heart, hiding something, love bombing. We have new love will find you and that will be eternal bond. So sometimes we can fear when we have a strong bond with someone. You know, will I ever feel this way again? Will I find something, right? That's as fulfilling. New love will find you, eternal bond, you will. You're the queen of wands. But it's almost there was some a purpose behind this, you running into this person, you're meant to learn, but they will call. They will message you, but they're still very set in their ways, outside influences, choosing to ignore. This is interesting. We have it will take time, taking their time, preparing for union, unrequited love. It's almost by the time this person comes back around, you're, you're not feeling it or you may choose to ignore. Choosing to ignore is your energy and we had that in your outcome, Virgo. What is the person on Virgo? And this is resonating and saying, let them make the first move. Finally, the perfect time to come together. Our love will prove to be worth the wait. Some of you, I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. But what's with the love? Yeah, what can I say? I'm a player and I want to continue to play the field. I have addictions I haven't told you about, but too afraid to tell you and lose you forever. There's something about the situation that's toxic, which is why you were diverting your attention away from this situation. It's in your hands if you want to see us move forward, but I've done my part, now it's your turn. Yeah, I'm going to sneak back into your life and pretend nothing ever happened. I know I'm a coward. I'm going to pop in and out of your life as I please. But they do put on the show. They act as if they're not bothered. They are. They love you. Yeah, and as I say, they love you all about you. Those of you, it's a newer connection. Be patient. And I think with time, they will be more expressive. Should I get one more all about you? Yeah, if they had options, you're the one they have their eye on regardless of what's going on. Separation needed. <laughs> Curious about you. Yeah, very much. This person is growing, healing. They need to learn some lessons. And... It's almost whatever is happening for is for the best, with separation needed. It's almost divine intervention here when I see the separation needed. Wisdom. 
perfect match. Some of you, if things aren't working with this person, that is what you're attracting. Someone who's on is a vibrational match to you. We have with every relationship, I gain invaluable wisdom. I'm continually learning which qualities stimulate, support, and inspire me. And which one makes me want to cram a soup spoon into my ear and turn it slowly. In that sense, even failed relationships are actually successes. See how wise I sound? Yeah, I was getting this person has some sort of divine mission together. Um, you know, they're not just there for no, <laughs> for the sake of it. This person crossed your path because you were meant to learn perhaps more about yourself. Queen of Wands upright about confidence, self-worth, and also what you can tolerate and what you can't. Yes, Virgo, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.